In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create scrapbook typography. First of all, go to the File menu, click on the Open option, select the background image, and click on the Open button. Select the Text tool from the menu, choose the Abbey Medium Extended font 400 point for the size, and write your text on the canvas. Set the line spacing to 80 and font spacing to 50. Now click on the Add a Layer button and select the Stroke option. Set the size to 15 pixels and position to Outside. Once done, click on the OK button to apply these changes. Right click on the Layer Effects option and select the Create Layer option from the menu. Rename the effects layer to Outline and the other layer to Text. Now go to the File menu and open a texture image from the browsing menu. Drag the texture image on the main document and rename it to Outline Texture, move it on top of the Outline layer, right-click on it and select the Create Clipping Mask option. Right-click on the Outline layer and select the Blending option from the menu. Move over to the Drop Shadow tab, change the blending mode to Multiply, Opacity to 25%, and change the distance and size to 2 pixels. Now go to the Bevel and Emboss tab, choose the style to Inner Bevel and Technique to Chisel Hard. Change the depth to 200% and size to 0 pixels and click on the OK button to apply these changes. Once done, go to the File menu and open another textured image. Once opened, drag it over to the canvas, move it on top of the text layer, and resize it according to each letter. Rename this letter to Text Texture, right-click on it and select the Create Clipping Mask option from the menu. Now create a duplicate layer and move it over the next layer and in the same way complete the rest of the letters in your text. Once done, right-click on the text layer and open the blending options from the menu. Go to the Bevel and Emboss tab, choose Inner Bevel for Style, Chisel Hard for Technique, set the depth to 100% and size to 1 pixel. For the highlight mode, keep the opacity to 100% and for the shadow mode, keep it to 50%. Once done, click on the OK button to apply these settings. Add a new layer and rename it to Stitches, move it on top of all the layers and release it from the clipping mask. Now press the Control key on the keyboard and click on the text layer. This would load the selection of the layer. Go to the Select menu, move over to Modify and click on the Expand option. Choose 10 pixels for the expansion and click on the OK button to continue. Select the Marquee tool from the menu, right-click on the canvas and select the Make Work Path option from the menu. Set the tolerance to 2 pixels and click on the OK button to continue. Now go to the Window menu, select the Brushes option, and choose the Stitching 2 brush. Set its diameter to 10 pixels and spacing to 500%. Go to the Shape Dynamics tab and change the Angle Jitter to 5% and Control 2 Direction. Choose a dark blue color from the text, select the Pen tool from the menu, right-click on the main page, and select the Stroke Path option. Select the Brush tool from the drop-down list and make sure that the Simulate Pressure option is deselected. Once done, click on the OK button to apply the filter. Press the Ctrl-H key from the keyboard to hide the selection path and your text is ready.